what up everyone back again with another video we are jumping straight into this one so let's grab our pencil and let's get it i decided to do something other than a peeker this time we're going to be making a custom slap so yeah that looks good now let's actually get started all right, so who else has been keeping up with Blue Lock? Hmm? Anybody? Come on, it's so good. Well, today's sticker, we're making Yuichi Isagi from, you guessed it, Blue Lock. So right now we got the rough sketch going. We're gonna clean it up a little bit later, but let's go ahead and add a soccer ball. And I'm gonna be tracing it. Have you tried drawing a soccer ball? It's hard. Moving on, already dropped the opacity. Now all we're doing is just tracing. I do this about two to three times until I find the lines I like. And then I just get rid of all the extra ones I don't need. There we go. Now we're gonna be moving on to my favorite part. We're gonna start coloring. I always like to start off with the skin tone. Right now all we're doing is just tracing the outline. And once we're all done with that, we're just gonna fill it in, you know, plop, plop it in there. Here we go. Boom. All right, now we're gonna be adding some shadows. All we're doing is just blocking it in. And we're gonna use the Gaussian blur to blend it together. Now a little highlight on the nose. Perfect. And now we're moving on to that hair. And same concept, trace, fill, highlight. And I feel like I've taken a long time, so I'm just gonna grab this magic brush and I'm just gonna fill in the hair, touch up the eyes. All right, so now for one last thing. I wanna recreate that glow they get in their eyes when they're about to make a chemical reaction. And well, this is what came to mind. It's probably not the best or fastest way, but it worked. And if any of you that know how to draw or use Procreate have some pointers, drop them in the comments, let me know. I don't know everything, so. That'll actually help a lot. All I'm doing is using the select tool, making some random shapes and just filling it in. And I do this for about four layers. And I know how it looks, just hear me out. We're gonna be using our motion blur and we're just gonna send it in all directions, lower the opacity, clean it up a little bit, trust. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. So good, I actually decided to make a second sticker. Check it out, it's Nagi. All right, so we've been drawing all day. I need to eat, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go grab some food, and then we're gonna come back and make these into stickers. All right, we're back. Let's turn on our laptop. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of touch-ups so it's print ready. Let's lay them out. We're gonna do about four of each. Let's hit print, and there it goes. And all we do now is wait. It's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes. And just like that, it's done. Now let's cut them up. We're gonna cut this in half and let's start working on the first one. We're gonna grab our tool, we're gonna weed it out. Nice and slow. And done, perfect. And we're gonna move on to the next one. Once this is done, we're done. And here they are. Check them out, guys. I really enjoyed making these. They're absolutely one of my favorite stickers I've done so far. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, it really helps. And click the next video, that helps also.